I'm good. How are you, Kieran? I'm not too bad. So, what do you like about the media department, Kieran? Well, whatever it is, I must like it a lot because I haven't left. I was a student here and then almost immediately I started teaching the department. So it's a place that's very close to my heart. We're taught by people who are highly respected in their field. So you're being taught by people who are going to have an effect on ideas about media in the future. I just finished the foundation year and I'm moving on to the BA, the first year of media and communications. Year zero meant a lot to me because we got to do 50% practical and 50% theory and all the conveners that we had really pushed you to be the best that you could be. I really enjoyed the photography module and I really enjoyed the animation. In regards to the theory side, I liked that in Goldsmiths we relate it to what's happening now and to history as well, that everything is connected. So the theory element is very important for the BA and for the department as a whole. There's an ethos that you can't be just a practitioner or just a theorist. If you're a practitioner, you have to understand the history of the ideas and the ideas behind the things that you're making. You have to understand uh, questions of representation and questions of power. And we're applying the things that we're learning and making the things that are going on in the world outside. And I think the fact that we are split 50-50 in that way is an acknowledgement of how important it is to teach both of those things in a symbiotic way. So why did you choose Goldsmiths to do this particular programme in? This is a big deal, so I really like took it on board and like did my research to know that Goldsmiths was the place for me and I knew that I could be included. In regards to the facilities, what will be available in the department? If you study photography, obviously you have uh, dark rooms and photo studios. If you study TV, we have edit suites that run industry standard software. You're trained in industry standard methods all the way through. So the idea is that the first year practice starts very, very broad, and then you narrow down as you go through the three years. I specialised in animation in my third year, but because I'd done a little bit of radio, I could also use sound quite well because I did uh, creative uh, script writing. I had an idea about how narrative works because I'd done TV. I had an idea about cameras. All of these things kind of combined to help me when I graduated to go straight into freelance animation. People go into advertising, PR, they go into social media management. Someone that I graduated with ended up presenting Blind Date in Iceland, I think it was. And there's no area of the world where creative and critical thinking isn't relevant. And one of the reasons I chose to do this particular degree is because you don't come out as any one thing, you come out as a creative critical thinker. So I think that's the thing that kind of gives you a bit of an edge when you graduate from this department. You have a perspective, you have a point of view, and I think a lot of employers really value that. 